National Voter Registration Day. For democracy to keep marching forward, every single eligible American has to be willing to do their duty and head out to the polls to vote. And since you can't vote in the US unless you are registered, this day is a good day to make sure that you are registered. And that's the whole reason behind National Voter Registration Day. This observance day falls on the fourth Tuesday in September and is designed to be a reminder for citizens to make sure that they are registered to vote so that they can take part in the representational democracy. Throughout American history, certain groups have been excluded from their right to vote. Women couldn't vote until the 19th Amendment was passed in 1920, and many people of color were incapable of exercising their right to vote through various means of suppression. Unfortunately, voter suppression is still an issue that plagues American society even to this day. In 1965, in an attempt to remove the political obstacles that were in place to keep people of color from voting, President Lyndon Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act into law. This act removed many of the obstacles that were used to prevent blacks and other people of color from voting. This legislation outlawed literacy tests and applied a nationwide prohibition against the abridgment of voting rights according to race or color. In 2006, voting rights were extended for an additional 25 years. National Voter Registration Day is another measure designed to increase participation of the electorate in the exercise of their voting rights and for citizens to keep in mind their rights. Having the ability to vote is an important right, so everyone should make sure that they retain their right to vote by making sure that they complete the steps required for Election Day. The first thing that everyone should do on this day is to make sure that they check that they are registered to vote, even if they think they know they are already registered. Voting rolls get cleared of voters every year, so it's important for a person to make sure that their registration is still active and valid. After they have checked their registration, they should then make sure that their friends and family have checked their voter registrations. This is also a good time to offer rides to the polls for friends and family members who may not have their own transportation. Another thing that can be done on this day is to attend a rally of your favorite politician or political organization. Get out there and advocate for the things that you believe in and participate in the democratic process. It's not only a lot of fun but also makes for a healthier democracy. And the final thing that a person can do on National Voter Registration Day is to be volunteer. Get out there and help unregistered voters get signed up, print up and distribute flyers that advocate for your particular political cause, or simply spend some time talking with friends and family members about important issues. It will not only serve you well, but it will also serve your country well too.